Hi, I'm Rick McCurdy and this is a master class on how to tune the braces on an archtop guitar. Now we've finished the plate, cut the F-holes, and we've trimmed the plate to the correct thickness in the center and on the edges. I've glued the braces on in an X pattern and they're oversized. So we will be trimming them to get the best sound out of the top. Uh, the right thickness here we will measure at the X and it will be 9 sixteenths and then the brace will taper to almost nothing at the tips. Uh, we'll be tapping to ascertain how thick to make the braces. Um, you may need headphones to listen to this part, but uh, the only way to do this is the sound of the top. So listen carefully. You hear that it's brighter and thinner right here. So I'll be shaving this brace until I get this tone to sound like this. Spruce as a material transmits vibration this way ten times faster than this way. This is what the braces do in an arch top. They're not really so much braces as they're tone bars. And so what we're trying to do now is make the, the sound slow down a little bit this way and spread the sound this way. The other thing I've noticed about the really fine sounding D'Angelicos that I've worked on is that you have to mark where the bridge goes. This is the bridge line on a long scale guitar. It's uh, 11 and 3 eighths from the top. I've noticed that he leaves, D'Angelico left the braces pretty large up until that point. Then he started his taper down to paper thin at the end. So I'm going to leave these strong and I'm just going to keep tapering these legs to try to get the whole top to resonate a little bit better. These are the tools you'll need for carving the braces. A little round bottom plane. If you've gotten this far, you've got one of these. Six inch ruler and a sanding block to sand the X because the grain goes two ways, you just tear it out with a plane. The final measurement in the center of the X is 9 16 So to make this easier, since it keeps chipping out, I'm just going to do it on the belt sander. Get it down to 9 16 and carve the rest of the braces down to that height. Now we've trimmed the braces a little bit, both the ends and the belt sander, did the center X, and we'll show you how much the sound of the top has changed. It's got a little bit fuller and a little bit richer. This is how I know where on the brace to carve. So we tap it. Nice and fat here, thin here. You can see the grain runs like this. The tight spot is right here. Grain runs right down to this part of the brace. I'm going to shave this part of the brace. This side too is doing it, so I'm going to shave this part of the leg. Now the head of the guitar plate is always brighter than the bottom because this is longer and it's looser. So if you compare the two, you can hear that this one needs to be thinned a little more. Same on this side. Oh, that one's actually pretty close. So I'm just going to work on the cutaway. A little bit of fine tuning on the cutaway bar. It seems to be tighter right here. Let's listen. So I'm going to carve this bar right here. Follow the grain. I'm just going to write down and carve the bar right here. I just got the center down to exactly 9 16 and the plate just totally opened up. Let's see if you can hear this. So 
So I'm just going to cosmetically clean these guys up now, round them a little bit, sand them 220, make it look nice, and sign the top. We are done. Stick a fork in it. And I'm just using a sheet of plastic, this old pick guard plastic, to protect the top while I sand. So I get a really nice all the way down to the top. So here she is all done. 9 16 in the center, trimmed down to very fine at the ends. Feathered to nothing is the way that I always try to describe it. And this is what it sounds like when everything's all carved, sanded, ready to install. So good luck with your project and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to email me.